Hey ladies, I'm coming to you with a jewelry tutorial on how to make some earrings and we're gonna make some together. So let me go ahead and dive in and show you what we're making. And then I'm gonna show you everything that's needed. All right, so these are the earring style that we're making. Super duper cute. And they're with the fish hook earrings. And that's one set that I made. And this is another set that I made. And this is using um, crystals as opposed to just like turquoise beads. And then I made the dangles at the bottom. Same exact thing. Okay. So those are the two sets of earrings. And we're going to do this third one. I did the one. And I'm going to do the other one with you. And we're gonna do a quick tutorial on a simple necklace for those of you ladies that may not be major jewelry makers and you just wanna learn how to gift super cute things that are just easy to do. And these are things that you can buy at the mall in different little stores, different little boutiques. So something so simple like that. And it costs you really nothing. Out of the stuff that I had to purchase to make this, I could have probably easily made six items six necklaces like this so um super in the budget super simple using a lobster claw lobster claw clasp and it's just a cute little dangle i did this at a 16 inch that's 10 that's where i toured gracious this is my fifth time doing this video <laughs> so that is the size necklace i tend to always wear our 16 inch or super long ones. We are also, um, that's what we're gonna make. Now let me show you what we're using. So this right here, all of the pieces we're using are from Hobby Lobby. So this came like this, okay? It came with all of these beads. I went when all of this stuff was 50% off. So this right here holds three, four, six, and eight millimeter beads. Okay, $1.50 for all of these, which is an amazing deal. Okay, so we're gonna be using all of these except for the four millimeters. We're using the three, the six, and the eight. I will let you know as I go which ones we're using. All right, we also are using this. I got this at 50% off as well. You can see almost all of it is used on this stuff and what we're using. So that's where the charms came from. And also too, I use the two inch, these are head pins, and then I use the eye pins. These right here are eye pins, okay? And that is from here as well. So they're all two inch. And like I said, I've used this all the time. I really do love the quality of these. So just so you know, cause I do get a lot of people that ask, what inch, where I purchased it from. So that's where I purchased it from. My jump rings is what I use all the time. I use six inch, I'm sorry, six millimeter jump rings. So these right here, there's 500 to a pack. So when you can get these 50% off, it's a deal. I use a lot of these. This right here is also six millimeter, but this is the heavy gauge. So that just tells you that the wire, the thickness of it is um, heavier, it's thicker than this. So for people that are using heavy charms, things that are gonna be heavy, you would wanna use these right here to hold together. Cause that means when you pull it together, it stays super duper snug. You don't need to use these for an everyday project. It's up to you if you wanna use something that's thicker, but I always use this. I have zero problems with this right here. So unless the person's super harsh on their jewelry, you can't, that's, I mean, that's not the fault of this. But like I said, these are the ones I always, always use, okay? All right, and the chain we'll be using is also from Hobby Lobby. This does have nickel in it. If you are allergic to nickel, the person you're making this for, just keep that in mind that this is nickel. Everything else is nickel free. The head pins, the eye pins, the jump rings, those are all nickel free. And even the fish hooks that I'm using are nickel free. But this right here does have nickel. I'm not allergic to nickel. So I purchase this all the time. I love, love that chain. It is a 5.5 millimeter chain. So if you just look for, if you want this skinny size 
um, chain, then that's what you would look for. So it's exactly the same as you see here. Forgive my nails, ladies. I haven't done them yet. <laughs> I'm going to do them after the video. I wouldn't have been able to do the video had I had to wait and do all that stuff. So I was like, you know what? We're just going to do it because you ladies are awesome and I need to get it done. All right. These are the tools we're going to be using. Round nose pliers that have no ridges. Flush cutters, which are these right here, which means they cut flush to the pen. And I need a new pair, look at that. You can totally tell I beat the heck out of them. These are amazing and you must have these for jewelry making. And then these right here are some pliers, but these do have the ridges so that it holds the wire in place when you, um, when you have to turn it. Okay, so those are the tools I'm using. Now let's dive in. All right, this is the earring. Like I said, this is the one we're gonna make using this two inch eye pin. And we are going to use the three millimeter um, beads. So I've already pre-counted, you know, that I can only fit four. Now the crystals that, um, for these ones right here, these I used four millimeter crystals, but keep in mind, you see it's just five crystals and a dangle. On here, I have two bigger size, so I was only able to use the four of the three millimeters because these are six millimeters. Okay, so you just, you always have to keep in mind the size of the beads as far as, um, you know, so you know how much space you have here. I did go through it a few times to see how I was going to fit it. I didn't get it on the first try, ladies. All right, and then we're going to use these daisy spacers. These right here are from Michael's. Okay, you can get those there. And we're going to put on the six millimeter. We are going to put on the dangle that I pre-made already. These bead caps are also from Michaels. And I always get my beads when they are on sale. I haven't been to downtown LA in a long time. Normally I buy a bulk of my beads from there. But right now with selling my house and the holidays, it's just one, it's not in the budget. And um, two, it's just not been a necessity. I really do have a butt ton of beads. <laughs> I am by no means hurting for beads. I have a ton. I've been doing jewelry for a very long time and I am not professional or anything like that, but I just do me and what I like. I'm cutting off a little bit here because I already know that it's gonna be too long for me to do um, my ending. And this is what we're gonna do. Now, right here, I take it to where it's flush to the top, okay? The, I'm right-handed, so my right hand is gonna be the one doing the movement. I'm just put my thumb here, because that's where I'm gonna put the pressure on to do this loop. So you see, I'm turning with my right hand, my left hand does nothing, and then I opened it, and now I'm turning it again, and I'm opening it, it still stays in the hole, and then I'm putting it all the way back down to the bead on the reverse side, oops, back here. And then I'm gonna turn it towards me, okay? So you see that's how it looks so far? Now we're gonna put this back in here and we're gonna close it this way. And it's kinda like you gotta keep doing it this way because you want this to look like that. You don't want it, because a lot of the times I see people where they just do the turn here and then they never turn it back this way and the loop is going this way instead of centered and you don't want that. We're not gonna close that all the way because we're gonna put the chain through there so I'm not gonna close it all the way. Now you see it's straight, right? So this part, all you do is with your hands, you're the one that's shaping it with your fingers, okay? Okay, now we're gonna take this earring and we're gonna see and make sure that it matches. And I see that I need to move it just a little bit more. Okay, let's get the bead down here because it's not closed, it's, hold on. Let me do this. Let's put the chain in. Let's do that first. Because I, all right, and then let's close this off. Okay, 
So now the chain is hanging. Now I used one inch, it's one inch long of chain, okay? That's how I chose to do it. These ones right here, I used one inch and one quarter. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open up this other side. And we're gonna open this up. And we're gonna put this other piece of one inch chain. Oops. Hold on, the bead is getting in the way. I think I need to, yeah, let me open it more. And when you open these, you turn it to the side like this. You don't pull it open like this or else it just takes away the whole shape that you just um, created. And then what I do, if that was to happen, then you would have to start over because then it just messes it all up and it doesn't look good anymore. Just closing it off, making it snug. So now they're both on there, okay? So now we can go ahead and bend it a little bit, make sure that they look the same, that one's not more bent than the other, okay? So they both look good. Now we're gonna put these two together with um, a jump ring. Hold on, I'm thinking it's not bent enough. I could feel that it was pulling a little bit. There we go. We're gonna take this six millimeter jump ring, open this up, and we are gonna get the bottom of the chain, and we're gonna string it on there. Like that, and then while we're at it, Let's get the fish hook earring and slide that on. And now we're gonna close this off. Oops, there we go. And that's it. Super duper easy. So once you have the concept down of how to make these, then you'll always know, okay, I need three millimeter, four millimeter, to do the two sides and that you really don't wanna go no bigger than a six millimeter on these two. These right here, I use the eight millimeter um, bead, the largest one in the pack, okay? Super easy. So now let's go ahead and make a super simple necklace, okay? So we're gonna take one of these jump rings, okay? Of course I used my finger to do that. <laughs> And we are going to, let's do this, string on one of these. And we're gonna string on the charm and we're gonna string on the feather. I have, I love necklaces like this that are super simple, super dainty and just cute to put on with anything. Now I have, this is like a 10 millimeter jump ring that I'm putting this on. And that is the one that is going to go on to the chain, okay? And I'm gonna show you. Now let's go ahead and close this one off really good and make sure it's closed. Okay. So this right here can go on to the actual chain. And like I said, I cut this at 16 inches. That's the size I want the necklace to be. Okay. So now you may ask, why didn't I just put this directly onto the chain instead of adding another jump ring? And the reason why is you always wanna keep in mind the position of the jump ring. This jump ring, had I put this directly on to the chain, these would have hung sideways like this. It would have hung this way. So I had to put on another one to be big enough to go over the chain and to put this jump ring in the right direction so that they hang like this instead of sideways. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and 
finish the ends. We're going to take another one of these six millimeters jump rings and I'm able to use my thumb. That's why I didn't want to bring out, like, oh, I don't want to take the pliers out for that. So they're strong enough to do it. And I always do it this way. So it's not that these are super weak because they're not, but I'm already used to doing it this way instead of busting out the other pliers and how to put everything down. And now we're gonna add the lobster claw. I do not have the measure or the size lobster claw that is, but it is a small size. Um, I just don't have the size, sorry guys. Okay, so there is your endings. So easy. This is perfect for the beginner. If you wanted to just make something simple as gifts for your daughters, granddaughters, whomever. And then look at how cute is that? So simple with adding, and these charms are already done. I didn't have to make any of the charms. You just buy the charms, add them on a jump ring, put it on a chain, and then you didn't even have to bend any wires, do anything. Super duper easy. So see how stinking cute are those? They're very fun to make. So I hope this was inspiring. I love the quality that I was able to see everything really clear, not all blurry like my camera did before. So I'm super glad that this isn't because there is no daylight, thank goodness for an ot light, right? So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're inspired. I hope that it was easy for you to understand. It really is. Do not feel that you can't do this. You absolutely can. So um, that's it. And I will think of another video. I wanna to try to do these a little more often because I have so many of you amazing ladies that like the jewelry videos and um, I wanna do it because I love jewelry. So <laughs> I will see you and talk to you guys later. I hope you had an amazing and blessed weekend and amazing Christmas and upcoming new year. I will see you soon. Bye.